solve for x. And we have negative 16 is less than or equal to 3x plus 5, which is less than or equal to 20. And just to be clear, we could rewrite this if we want as two separate inequalities or a compound inequality. We could write this as negative 16 is less than or equal to 3x plus 5 and and 3x plus 5, 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to 20. And you can solve for x separately in each of these inequalities. And just remember that you have that and to finish up with. Or you can actually do the same operations on every side of this to just have an x sitting inside the middle. So let's try to do it that way, since that'll be a new way to look at this. So let's. Let's subtract, since we want to isolate an x in the middle of this compound inequality, let's subtract 5 from all three sides, from the left, the middle, and the right. So let's subtract 5 from there, subtract 5 from here, and subtract 5 from here. And we don't have to do anything to the inequalities because we're just shifting it. We're just subtracting a number. If you add or subtract, you don't have to do it. You only have to swap inequalities when you multiply or divide by a negative number. So the left-hand side, negative 16 minus 5 is negative 21. Negative 21, and then is less than or equal to 3x plus 5 minus 5 is just 3x, which is less than or equal to 20 minus 5 is 15. Now, we can divide all three parts of this inequality by 3. Once again, it's positive, so it won't swap the inequality. So you divide them all by 3. And so here you get negative 7 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 15 divided by 3 is 5. So you can interpret this as x is between negative 7 and 5, including the boundaries. Or you could write this as negative 7 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to 5. And obviously, this one we could write at, we could also write this as x is greater than or equal to negative 7. This is obviously the same thing. I'm just swapping both sides here. Now, if we want to graph this, let's draw our number line. Let's draw our number line. And let's say that this right over here is negative 7. Maybe 0 is over here. Maybe this is 5 over here. We're going x is greater than or equal to negative 7. So it, will, it can be equal to negative 7. It's going to be in this direction. And x is less than or equal to 5. So it can be equal to 5. And it's going to be in this direction. And so you'd keep going all the way until you get to negative 7. So this magenta color is our solution set. And let's verify just by sampling a few points. So let's try out 0. 0 should work. If we put 0 here, we get negative 16 is less than or equal to 3 times 0 plus 5 is just 5, which is less than or equal to 20. This is true. 5 is greater than negative 16, and it is less than 20. So that works. Let's try. 6, because 6 should not work. So we get negative 16 is less than or equal to 3 times 6 is 18 plus 5 is 23, which is less than or equal to 20. This part works if you type if you put in 6, but this is not true. 23 is not less than or equal to 20. So it's good that 6 didn't work, because 6 is not in our solution set. You could also try it out with negative 8. Negative 8 also should not work. Let's try that out. If we have we'd have negative 16, it should violate. Let's try it out. It, we have negative 16 is less than or equal to. So if we put negative 8 here, this would be negative 24 plus 5. Negative 24 plus 5 is negative 19. Negative 19 is less than or equal to 20. Negative 19 is less than or equal to 20, but it is not greater than negative 16. So this is not true. So negative 8 also fails. So we're feeling pretty good about our solution.